Your back squat movement looks pretty good to me. Now, it's hard always to get a really good picture of what our squat looks like when it's an empty barbell. And I'll show you what I look like when I squat with an empty barbell versus when I actually have a bit of weight on the bar. When I squat with the empty barbell, the bar likes to travel out over the front of the middle of my foot. And if I try to keep that barbell completely vertical, I'll just simply fall backwards. Versus here, I've got 60 kilos on my back, nothing else has changed, and notice how my bar path is so much smoother. Now, I do remember you saying that you're brand new to back squats. You have absolutely no idea what you're doing. So let me still give you a few cues to focus on. Try and create as much upper body tension as you can. I know it's weird because we think of the squat as a lower body exercise, but if you can get this right, it will transfer over to a much stronger and smoother squat. Think of driving the elbows back, squeezing the upper back really hard. If you can get your abs super hard, like you're about to get punched and hold that throughout the entire squat, it will once again transfer over to a much stronger and smoother squat. Three, break at the hips and the knees at the same time and continue to sit into the hips as you go down and do not think you have to keep your upper body super upright. Unless you have exceptional mobility, you're probably gonna find about a shoulder width stance and sitting in between your knees rather than directly behind your knees will probably be the smoother squat for you. Lastly, go slow when you're lowering down into your squat. It can help you course correct your feet and make sure you have all of your weight in your toes or all your weight in your heels and you have a relatively balanced foot from toe to heel. Let's start there. Thank you for sending me a video. Hope you found this helpful.